Hi. Welcome back to my channel. Continuing from my previous video about the chess robot project, in this video I'll show you how to build a chess robot using the AR4 MK3 robotic arm, which is used to move the chess pieces on the board. This project combines several things I've shared before, the chess tracker using a camera, and how to control the AR4 MK3 robot using Python. All of those elements are combined to create this chess robot, a system that can automatically detect chess piece movements using a camera and control the AR4 MK3 robotic arm to move the pieces accordingly. This is the Python chess tracker file that I've modified so it can send the move results from Stockfish to another Python script that controls the robot, allowing the chess robot to automatically play and move the pieces based on the engine's decisions. And this is the Python file that controls the robot based on the moves received from the main script, it processes each move, calculates the target coordinates, and sends the proper commands to the AR4 MK3 robotic arm so it can precisely move the chess pieces on the board. First, we need to calibrate the squares on the chessboard. Calibration is an important step because it helps the program accurately recognize each square, ensuring that the movement detection and robot positioning later on will be much more precise. Next, we can run the main program to start playing chess with the robot. Two main windows will appear, one showing the animated chessboard, and the other displaying the camera feed along with the grid lines for each square. Before making a move, press the R key on your keyboard to capture the initial frame. After the move, press R again to capture the next frame. The program will then analyze the difference between the two frames and determine which move has been made. Now, let's try playing a real chess game against the AR4 MK3 robot. In this demonstration, I'll make the first move manually on the chessboard and the system will use the camera to detect that move. The information is then sent to the Stockfish engine, which calculates the best countermove. Once Stockfish decides on its move, the AR4 MK3 robotic arm receives the command, moves precisely to the target position, and picks up the corresponding chess piece to execute the move. This entire process runs automatically, combining computer vision, AI decision-making, and robotic control, to create a seamless and interactive chess playing experience between human and machine. As I explained in my previous video about controlling the AR4 MK3 robot with Python, the robot first moves to a temporary position before going to the target square to pick up a piece. This step is important because it makes the J1 motor rotate more, helping to reduce the effect of backlash. If the J1 movement is too small, the joint might not actually move due to mechanical slack, causing the robot's position at the target to be slightly inaccurate. By adding this temporary movement, J1 rotates farther and ensures the robot reaches the correct position more precisely.
In this chess robot, the movement logic also accommodates capture actions. When the robot needs to capture an opponent's piece, it will first move to the target square, pick up the opponent's piece, and place it in a designated discard area beside the board. After that, the robot continues to move its own piece to the now empty target square. This sequence makes the gameplay look much more natural and realistic, as the robot handles captures just like a human player, first removing the opponent's piece, then completing its move with precision. The chess robot also supports castling moves. Castling is a special move involving both the king and the rook, where they move simultaneously, the king moves two squares toward the rook, and the rook moves to the square next to the king. In this system, when the stockfish engine decides to perform a castling move, the program automatically detects that special condition. The robot will first move the king to its new position, then continue to move the rook accordingly. This feature requires precise coordination between both movements so the sequence appears smooth and accurate, just like a real human player performing a castling move. It also demonstrates that the robot isn't limited to simple piece moves, but can handle more complex chess rules intelligently. And that wraps up this demonstration of the chess robot project using the AR4 MK3 robotic arm. Through this experiment, we've successfully combined several different technologies, computer vision to detect moves, the Stockfish chess engine for decision-making, and Python-based robotic control to physically move the pieces on the chessboard. All of these components work together seamlessly to create an interactive and autonomous chess playing system. This project also serves as an exciting example of how robotics and AI can complement each other in real-world applications. By integrating motion control, visual feedback, and logical decision-making, we can build machines that don't just move, but also think and respond intelligently to their environment. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video inspires you to experiment, learn, and create your own robotics projects. Don't forget to like, and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.